Hey guys, over the past few months I have been able to gather a lot of really great moments that I would like to share with you all. Some of the footage you probably have seen them already, but for the most part it's the first time I show them. I'm going to break them down and explain them thoroughly what was my thought process during those moments and how you can achieve the same result. I guarantee you that if you are still applying some of these tips and tricks that I'm going to be sharing with you throughout this video, your gameplay will improve dramatically. But before we continue, I would like to put a disclaimer. If you are already insanely pro at Mobile Legends, then unfortunately this video is not for you. Now without further ado, let's start the video. Always try to be one step ahead of your adversary. After my latest video, this phrase has been stuck in my head, so instead of saying prediction, I changed it to one step ahead. So as the name suggests, basically you want to be one step ahead of your opponent at any moment. Like in any strategy game, if you know what the enemies are going to do, then it's very unlikely that you can lose the match. Of course it's not possible to do that throughout the entire match, but if you are conscious about these tips during the match, then you will see that your game sense will improve significantly. For example, here you can see that our Gushin was shut down, we don't have our damage dealer anymore. But I saw that Rafaela seems to lack a lot of game sense, she's way out of position and is trying to fight a Valir and a Hellcourt. So at this moment, I thought of using her inexperience to my advantage. I will turn her into the ultimate bait. So you can see here, the owl preemptively has the hook ready, and when I hear the jumping sound effect from Hellcourt, I will release the skill immediately. Here I saw the Hellcurt is split pushing the bottom lane. Our Gusho managed to weaken his HP quite a bit. I thought maybe I could finish him off. Throughout the whole game, I was able to completely shut down his farm, so I knew that he would be desperate to not waste any more time and try to get some farm done. He still has half HP left, so it was very unlikely that he would recall back to base. Learn the enemy's pattern. I have used Natalia quite often, so I know what is the tendency of Natalia players. If you can think like your enemies, then it becomes a lot easier to predict their movement. Throughout the game, Lancelot and Natalia have been one-shotting our backline quite often so I was able to learn their pattern. Unfortunately, my teammates didn't. You can see that nobody in my team noticed that Lancelot was behind us the whole time. If I didn't stop him, he would have probably killed our marksman once again. Here I'm playing against Lancelot. As you know, his second skill has the ability to immune any damage. Also, he has a dash skill to escape. When you factor all this information, you can try to be one step ahead of your adversary, and aim the skill where you think he will try to dash to. The same thing happened here. Instead of aiming Esmeralda ultimate where the targets are, if you know that they have some sort of dash skill or flicker, then think ahead and aim your skill where they will most likely go to. This one is a little bit different, I am playing against Lancelot once again, but this time I won't predict his dash. The reason is because here you can see that he used his dash already, and in case you don't know, at this level and without any cooldown item, his dash skill has a 14 seconds cooldown. Of course I will not be able to tell exactly how much time has passed during the fight, but since I know that that skill has a very long cooldown in the early game, my intuition was telling me that his dash was probably still on cooldown.
If you're enjoying this content so far, consider pausing the video for a brief moment so you can subscribe and like the video. Here you can see that they kill or damage dealer's ask. Now it's 3 versus 1 weekend under level Franco. It should be a piece of cake to finish him off. But you can increase your odds of surviving in this dire situation if your movement is not too predictable. If you can time your sidestep perfectly, then you can do something like this. The enemies got completely outplayed with just one simple move, from a completely unfavorable situation to getting a triple kill. In this one, I just managed to kill Hellcourt, but now the enemy Franco and Gushion are chasing my nuts. Just like before, I will try my best to make my movement as unpredictable as possible. Usually most players will try to take the shortest route to escape, but if you can manage to dodge Gushion and Franco first kill, then most of their damage is gone. The same thing happened here. Try your best to remain calm even in the worst situation. If you are calm, your brain can process the information faster, so the execution will be better. Here I saw that the enemy Popo is trying to finish off our Kaja, so that's the perfect chance to gang him. But now pay attention to the map. All the other lanes are already being cleared by the other enemy heroes. Chang E is clearing the middle lane and Yu Shun the bottom lane. That clearly tells me that Popo will have no other choice but to come to the top lane again to farm. So I will plan ahead and wait to ambush him again. This Minotaur almost ruined the plan, but that's normal. A lot of players just want to play the game without actually using the strategy part of the game. But if you seriously want to improve your gameplay, then you definitely have to take into consideration the strategy aspect of the game as well. Learn how each hero works. I'm not telling you to master every single one of them, because that's very unlikely. But at least learn and understand how each one of their skills work, so you will also know how to counter them in the game. Then you can apply the technique. One step ahead. Learn the very basic knowledge of the game. This might sound a little bit redundant, but I know many players who have reached mythic and even mythical glory and they are still lacking the basic knowledge of the game. You can easily obtain this kind of knowledge just by simply watching my videos. Winky face. Here you can see that our Kimi is taking the turtle, so I will go to the bush to make sure nobody is around the area to try to steal it. Once I saw Cho in the bottom lane, I decided to wait a little bit more until our Kimi is closer. I needed her damage in order to kill him. By the way, I think this is a bug. You can clearly see that I'm aiming my ultimate in the left direction. Anyway, this is not the important part. I saw that two of the enemies are dead and three of the enemies are fighting in the top lane. That tells me that no one is ready to defend the base. You can see that Rikimi was about to leave, but I managed to grab her attention with my ping. We have only one minion left, the turret can easily kill it in 3 shots. But if you use your body to tank it for a little bit, 
then that will give enough time for your teammate to destroy it. Something similar happened here. We managed to kill two of the enemies, now we have the top lane corner. You can see that Gushion was able to land his first kill, but he's receiving turret shots. So I decided to tank the turret instead, so our damage dealers can finish them off without dying in the process. These things are very basic, but unfortunately, it seems like many players don't do this often. So that's all for this video, I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe.